I think everyone was waiting 18 months ago for a peak, and it never came. Well, get ready for the drink your milk speech. Only this time, it's not from your mom, it's from dairy farmers. Less milk drinking and cheaper prices are putting them in a very tight spot. News Force Jen Schantz went to a dairy farm in Pavilion today to show us how those folks are coping. This is a larger dairy farm in New York State with 1,500 cows churning out almost 14,000 gallons of milk every day. Farmers tell me they've had to get creative in order to stay ahead of low milk prices and overproduction. You could say dairy farmer Thomas Matthews is a ladies' man. After all, he spends his days with more than a thousand of them. It's not much better than, uh, you know, working on the farm and getting to. Uh, Work with these girls. But dairy farmers are up against fewer milk exports and declining prices. The things that are contributing to this low milk price right now is overproduction in the United States or oversupply and then lack of demand. It's dealt a blow to upstate farms like Noblehurst. Farmers measure milk prices by how much they make per 100 pounds. That hit a high in 2014 of about $27. It's now down to $17. What's made this year especially hard is that, is that it's been a three-year drought, you might say, or a three-year valley of price uh, fall. Price drops in the past have been short-lived. Matthews says this time around, lenders might be less optimistic. Noblehurst has had to diversify how it makes its money. We built a digester, which is producing electricity from the manure. The cow's manure gets turned into methane, and we burn that methane off. They've also partnered with eight other local farms and built this cheese plant, which opened in 2016. The Go Local campaign, Matthews says, has helped farmers some. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand is proposing a price floor for milk. It's all laid out in her bill, the Dairy Farm Sustainability Act. It would pay farmers a portion of money from the U.S. Treasury to help make up for low milk prices. Matthews isn't sure that's a good long-term solution. My fear is if it's um, if there is a floor and from past ag, uh, you know, economics. I think it's going to just create oversupply. Milk prices are expected to stabilize next month. If they don't, Matthews says, smaller family farms could be in trouble. I think we're cautiously optimistic about the future uh, milk price. But, you know, we're, we're not going away. In Pavilion, Jen Schantz, News 4.